Here's this week's Crime Watch brought to you by the Namibian Marshall Rangers. Rain, glorious rain. We've been blessed after such a long dry season. We've been blessed with wonderful rain from the north until the south. It's been beautiful. Our country is getting green again. All the animals are getting life again. But you know what comes with that too? Accidents. Why? People's vehicles are not in a roadworthy condition. Their tires aren't suited for wet uh, surfaces or roads. The wiper blades aren't working pro properly. That's visibility. And, and the brakes are not uh, functioning the way they should. And what's happening, instead of people keeping longer following distances, they're riding close up to each other, which is causing accident after accident. I know since the rain has started now, we've dealt with cars rolling on the road. We've dealt with uh, people getting stuck in the rivers or in the drenches. You don't go through a river that the water is flowing. People, you cannot judge the strength of a river by looking at it on the surface. The undercurrent is so strong, it will push your vehicle away and you're trapped in it. We also just recently in Sosses Flay, where the gra gravel roads are, because the wind, uh, rain comes and it washes away the, the actual gravel road, this is what's happening is that it's causing ditches and we had a vehicle with six uh, Chinese uh, nationals that were driving in the Sosses Flay area. The vehicle got caught obviously on these gravel roads because not everybody can drive gravel road, let alone wet gravel roads. The vehicle rolled, four people were taken to hospital injured, two fatalities and that has been going on since the rain has been falling because people do not think about what they are doing when they're on the road be wise be safe and save lives
The struggle is real. And many Namibian women have joined the small and medium enterprise market by selling food on the side of the road. And they provide food to laborers and other menial workers by serving dishes that are cheap to produce. This week on The Shift, I met Tio Paulina, a meme who feeds her family by catering to those who may not have the kind of budget that allows them to eat out as we know it. Morning, Meme. Morning. How are you? Fine, and how are you, Meme? I'm fine. My name is Erika. Mm, my name is Teoporina. Nice to meet you. So you're going to teach me what you do here every day, ne? How did you start the Kapana business? Kadi na si ronga, di ako kung gay kara po di di manong boloto ko. Tama kaya po, ependo ka po po fo. Pano ang dia po po sixa? Tandisum buka po po reven. Eta lang nga kaya tam datere ko fed ko kate tere ko imbo imbo bo tere ko nyama. Then tete ako kaya kaya sa musi mo tani mo na muingap una po po siya po po inay po po inay po po nga. Can you show me what we made today? What is in the pot? I wake up 3.30, then I finish 6 o'clock cooking. Cooking, in the car, I come. How? Oh? To the taxi or what? Yeah, the taxi. From where? Katutura? Yeah, Greenwell. Ooh, so far. So far. 3 o'clock. And let me, do you have children? <laughs> yeah. How many? Two. Two kids. And how old? How big are they? Mm, the last one is 15. The first one, 21. Do they help you mm. to make your food every day when you come? Every day, every day have different tastes. Nice. Today this taste, tomorrow another taste. And also it's very cheap, ne? Yeah. Very cheap way to eat, so you can mm. choose every day. If today I want fit cook and meat, tomorrow it's soup and pap. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, Emme. It was very interesting to learn how you do what you do. Thank you. And good luck. Mm.